Hey folks, welcome back to the Horde. I'm fighting with my camera, it keeps wanting to do the upside down thing. So it's about 345, 25.9 degrees Celsius, 48% humidity. It's also the 8th of August, Saturday, 78.6 degrees Fahrenheit. So what am I up to today? Um, I started digging for the wall project. I don't know. Some of you guys have done this. Some of you guys have never done this. Some of you guys might find this interesting. Some of you guys might hope to never have to deal with this. I personally hope you all never have to deal with it. It's a pain in the neck. So I squeezed the, um, the old backhoe loader in here. Right, but I mean, I got it right in there. This is what it looks like. I got um at least a six foot reach with this thing. If you were on the back coat. So I managed to get back here about six blocks worth. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's about here and I want to go another block or two. So somebody's going to end up digging. I did manage to find somebody to come and help me. Um, and the way we're going to work this project is I'm going to finish digging out behind the wall. I'm going to jack this up better. And by the way, freaking jack. I got to go to hydraulic. Anyway, so um, I got to get this jacked up. Then what we're going to do just before we put the corner back up, he, we're going to knock the corner down just, just before, right? Um, we're going to leave the rest of this up, right? Just knock the corner down, knock down as little as possible, you know, maybe another couple of blocks this way. After the corner is back up, reinforced, ready to go, we're going to drop the house on it, or at least have the corner there. Um, then we're going to take this stuff down, um, finish digging behind it. It's easy if you just put the bucket of the uh, loader right here, you know, so rake it a little bit with the backhoe and uh, put it right here. Um, after he gets a couple of courses up, gravel, pipe, you know, and keep working our, our way back up. That way uh, it's nice and solid and safe and proper and the drainage is good and we're all happy right um it seems that the real push point on the wall was right here and um there was like a lot of rock and debris behind the wall uh, I could show you what I've dug out of here so far. Well, that's one thing I dug out of here so far. That's the three yards that are going back in. And here's what I, I took out. I decided to put it over here to kind of get it the hell out of the way. But you can see, I mean, there was a lot, a lot of rock. Some of these barbell weight was in there. Um, I don't know if you can see, kind of get an idea of how much rock. So yeah, there was quite a bit in there. Some bricks, other debris. 
I think it's um, he's going to come over. The guy, the mason's going to come over with a laborer, and the, so and and that's what I'm missing. I I have trouble getting any help, and especially if I'm uh, doing masonry, I'm kind of on the edge of my expertise and uh, it's probably going to cost me somewhere between a thousand and fifteen hundred to get this done Which, um, you know, for my area is reasonable. Is it cheap? No, cheap is free. Um, it won't be free. But, you know what, f for 1500 bucks, I'm not, uh, I'm not as young as I used to be. So, uh, you know, at some point you gotta just say to yourself, hey, I need to get this done. I need to get it done real time. And I don't want to spend a hundred years, you know, screwing around. Um, need, need to finish this. Need to, need to move on. I want to get back to playing with my stuff. I want my door to work properly. I, you, you know, I, I want to move forward. And I can't move forward with this in its current situation. So I got to... It's going to cost me a few bucks, and uh, and we'll get it moving forward. Um, I think it was Sims that asked, what is this thing, this green thing? There's a, um, a sickle bar that goes on the front of this. And then this thing here, puck, so to speak, goes around. And as it goes around, it, you, you know because it's oblong so to speak it moves the sickle bar back and forth and you can see how it bolts on to the bottom plate there obviously I'm not taking very good care of it I think I bought it at a flea market well I know I bought it at a flea market the old Maybrook flea market I remember um, that much but it was unbelievably cheap I think it was like ten dollars or something like that it was an old guy who's um, whose wife passed on and he listened to his kids and he was selling out and I don't know if he was moving in with one of the kids or moving into a retirement situation retirement home situation I'm not exactly sure what he was doing from um, from that point of view but uh, he he um, he he was he they didn't need it anymore. The kind of equipment he had, he had a bunch of stuff like this. I got the idea he had a, uh, a farm, perhaps, um, from what the kind of stuff he had. So, But, yeah, you can see, once again, the oblong end, that black end there. See the way it's got a little thing sticking out? Basically, it, as it goes around, right, it moves like this, which moves the teeth right back and forth like that. And you can see how it bolts to the bottom right there. All right, so that's today and today's progress. I'm going to finish d digging around and screwing around with this. You're being a pest today. I got work to do. Um, and I already showed you my bent jack. Okay, folks, I want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing. Remember to keep your feet down and keep your head up. And, guys, please enjoy all your days. Remember to have fun. You don't know how many you're going to get, so get out there and have a few laughs. Uh, take care now. Bye.